Hi, welcome to this edition of Inside DCPS. I'm Shelley Hammonds, and today with us we have two special guests. We have Amy Shutt. She is the Assistant Superintendent of Human Services for the district. We also have Courtney Payne. She is our Human Resources Manager. So Amy, can you tell us about yourself outside of the school day? Well, I am married to the Director of Maintenance here uh, in Davis County, David Shutt, and I also have a set of 16-year-old twins who attend Apollo. Uh, before coming to Davis County, I spent some time in Muhlenberg County, started my career there teaching sixth grade, fifth and sixth grade, uh, and then I moved to the principalship there, spent three years, and then I moved to Davis County and have, was at Burns 12 years before I moved to the central office. Uh, last year, I was the Director of Personnel, and then on July 1, I became the Assistant Superintendent for Human Services. Services. So what made you want to come from Muhlenberg County to Davis County? The opportunity to grow. Uh, it was just we felt like it was a great opportunity for our children. They were three at the time and we felt like we wanted them in the Davis County Public Schools. Fabulous. Okay Courtney can you tell us what tell us a little bit about yourself and then what kind of brought you to come into Davis County Schools? Um, I'm a native of Davis County. Grew up on the West End. Um, I'm a product of Davis County Public Schools and went to Murray State University. Go came, Racers. Go Racers. <laughs> um, came back to Owensboro where I spent five years in the HR field in the manufacturing industry um, and then just had an excellent opportunity to come here to Davis County Schools. Um, I'm married to my best friend Derek so he's one of my biggest supporters and I have a two-year-old who will also be a product of Davis County Public Schools eventually. So the human resources is new to our district. So what are some of the challenges that you've you've over, you've came or you've um, discovered, or just new things you've learned about being in our district? Um, I'm always learning something new every day and sometimes every hour. So um, it's definitely a challenge because this is a new position. So we're um, molding it and shaping it as we go to some extent, um, which is a good thing because we have the ability to do that in this position. Um, but it's definitely an opportunity for me to come in and evaluate what the processes and procedures currently are within the department um, and figure out the best way to serve our uh, employees in the district and support our ultimate goal. So what do you see is like your biggest adventure going forward with this position? Um, there's going to be a lot of moving pieces to what I'm doing. Um, part of it is going to be working on the benefits portion of uh, human resources and making sure that that portion of things is running so smoothly that we can get out to schools and be more transparent um, and accessible to our employees and better support that portion of our department. Thank you. Well, Amy, we're going to go back to you. So okay. you went from Director of Personnel to Assistant Superintendent of Human Services. What was the big change in that step? Uh, I like to explain it to people this way. I now take care of all the Davis County people, little and big. So I service <laughs> them from preschool all the way till the time they retire. Uh, also under this role, I took on the student services uh, department. So family resource, after school programs, all of that uh, now falls under me, which I have a huge passion for family resource. It's been a, uh, made a huge impact on the schools that I led. Uh, so I'm very excited to see uh, what great things we can do there as well. What do you see some of the challenges in this role? Uh, one of the things we really want to move forward with is kind of s making our hiring process a little bit more systematic. Uh, we want to look at dispositional hiring where we are trying to find the very best fit for every position we have in our district, our bus drivers, our cafeteria uh, people, our uh, instructional assistants, all the way up to our principals. Can you explain dispositional hiring? Uh, dispositional hiring, uh, the simplistic way to think about it is it's looking at characteristics that really can't be taught. Someone's uh, level of empathy, uh, their perspective on working with kids, things like that. It's a way of using um, questions to get to the heart of what someone really believes in. So we're looking for good-hearted people to mm -hmm. be with our children. Mm -hmm. We're looking for the very best person for every position we have in our district. That's phenomenal. So now you're saying thing. So looking forward, what is the biggest adventure that you foresee taking? Um, one of the things we want to work with every position in our district is is to examine all of our job descriptions uh, and make sure that our job descriptions are really um, identifying what our people are asked to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we will also be looking at uh, modifying our evaluation systems uh, to make sure that the job descriptions and those are you know matching and that our people know exactly what's expected of them. Well, thank you both. You both are a valuable asset to Davis County Schools. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in to this edition of Inside DCPS.